Why don't you love me, Jenny? I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. How's it going everybody? Welcome to Weird Yellow Bike. My name is TJ and this is my Honda CT90 from 1970. I've owned this bike for a couple years now and today I wanted to do a long-term review in terms of what does it cost to maintain a bike like this. I had bought the bike for a thousand bucks way before values for these things started to go up and right off the bat it needed a lot of things done i took it to the shop maybe twice and for both of those visits they were about 200 bucks and initially they just thought it had something to do with the carburetor pretty much the original setup before i got all the plastic parts just looked like a cheap filter you could get it on amazon for like 14 dollars but then eventually we went back to a OEM carburetor and along the way the headlamp went out and so right off the bat I paid about $70 for this particular unit however I paid $50 prior because when I was scouring eBay for parts I accidentally bought a K1 version and the reason why I say K1 is this model is a K2 it lasted from 1970 I believe to 1973 the K1 went from, I believe, 1968 to 1970. So pretty much I paid almost $140 for the headlamp alone. I made the same mistake when I was trying to figure out this tank situation. The reason why the carburetor was getting clogged up was because this tank had rust in it initially. And so what they recommended was essentially just acid wash the tank and then afterwards put a ceramic coating in it. So what the shop told me was I had to buy a tank in order for them to do the operation. Like they wouldn't touch this tank at all initially. So I bought the tank and I believe that was another $70 that I had to pay out of pocket. So I bring that to the shop and they said, we don't know why you bought a tank <laughs> when we could just clearly do it on our own. Now, what they hadn't known was that I sent it over to a shop up north to get that thing ceramic coated. So their service was $140. And so they pretty much said I wasted my time and energy and money to get that tank filled up. So they recommended to use this tank, the same one that they told me not to use, and then, you know, they went along and just did the same procedure for it. So having the headlamp replaced, plus this, plus the service of the acid wash or whatever procedure that they did, was probably about a $400 visit. So as you can imagine, I was pretty dissatisfied with that shop, but at least the bike was running, but it would only run for maybe a couple miles at a time. Yep. It's happening again. Because any time that I took this bike anywhere past 10 miles, the engine would start to bog down on me, eventually to the point where it would just stop. So I literally was at a point where I was like, you know what, this isn't worth my time and I'm thinking about selling it. However, I couldn't seem to let go of this bike because this thing just gives me a lot of happiness and it gives other people when they see it a lot of happiness as well. So in the end, you know, you're watching this video because I kept it. So I wanted to figure out what the situation was because not only was I bogging down, but also there was a leak that came from under the engine. So I brought it to this wonderful shop in Hurricane and pretty much I got the engine rebuilt. I had the shock boots replaced and I got a new chain. I had to get the battery replaced and the electricals fixed. This part literally just snapped off. I had to get a new spark plug. I think I had to have the tail lamp replaced as well. Ugh. So the whole service combined costed about $800. Some other things that I paid for on top of all of that, I paid for a lot of the plastic parts. Well, right now I'm getting them painted because when I scoured eBay, I paid for the following, which was a CT110 down tube cover, which is supposed to cover all these electrical parts as well as the carburetor, which costed about $75. I bought an orange filter box that connects from the carburetor down to here. 
So that ran me about $200 because I didn't want to have to do the search for all the individual pieces. And then over here, another part that's being painted is the battery box, which was about $35 for new old stock. So today I picked up my bike from the shop. Uh, the bill was $82 because they did an oil change as well as do some tune-ups on the brakes. And also they inspected the fork which unfortunately is leaking and it's not because of the shock boot it has nothing to do with anything on here it has everything to do according to them with something inside of the fork itself where it has a lubricant and it's actually pushing up and then leaking out that's something that i had never heard of as well as they told me that was pretty much a rare incident that they don't normally run into so I have to deal with that issue. And while I had them inspected, um, they were talking about other parts that I would possibly need in the future that I would need to take care of. Some of which would include a new brake cable, uh, some new drum brake pads. I also want them to switch out the old headlamp bucket with a new one and install some lights as well as fix the needle. And there were a couple other services as well that they mentioned to the point where they were predicting that the bill would be about $400 for parts and labor, as well as $75 for a salvage title, 200 bucks plus 35 for the MSF course and the certification, $75 annual for the insurance. And it comes to a grand total of this which depending on the outcome, it's probably either more than what I bargained for or it's meeting about current market value at this point if I decided to sell it today. But ultimately, that's what I paid to maintain this bike. I definitely made some mistakes on the way. I was not really guided in any sort of fashion. I just kind of learned the hard way. It's money that I cannot get back, but for the smiles, it's worth it. Well, with that, thank you for showing the love. I definitely love the support. So let's see what the future means.